All right, that is why differences in human creation, in God creation. Uh -huh. All right, so they don't believe that you have you have four children, for instance. Yes, yes, eh? yes. And these four children must they will never behave the same way to you as a father, earthly father. Uh -huh. But there, there are some of them we tell them, don't go out today. Yes. You will sit at home. Uh -huh. The other one will jump through the window. Okay. Your own children, your own earthly children. Okay? I, know, I have children, I yeah, know. They are, they, they are like that. So, not to talk of we, that God, that we don't even see him. Uh -huh. We only mention his name, God, but yeah. we don't see him. All right? But the, but the thing is, this life is short. Yeah, life is short. Maybe 60 years, 70 years, maybe we, more, maybe less. It doesn't matter. There's we no guarantee. We don't see him. But, we, we don't see him. But the thing is, what does God want from us now? God wants, what God wants is obey and serve him. Okay. Obey what? Obey his commandment. That's what I said. Okay, that, that's, that's the point. Mm. We would say the only way to know God's commandments is by the messengers he has chosen. And people cannot invent their own way. So, for example, as a Nigerian man, you know, there's, there's some choices in life. Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, Hinduism, these are the main choices you have. But which one has come from God? Yeah, that is what I'm saying. I said, serving God, yeah. it is your choice you make. It is no, a no, choice. We, are, we have choice. We, we, yeah, we, we're human choice. beings. As a human being, you decide to say, I want to serve my father. Yes. You decide that this uh, my father called me, I'm not going to answer him. But the bottom line is, yeah. who is your creator? God. Okay. But look, if, if one person is saying that, that God sent a man called Muhammad, peace be upon him, and you have to pray five times a day, you have to fast in the month of Ramadan, and you have to worship God alone. Okay, this is one call. Another call is saying that, that God, He came down as a human being, and He became a, a man. And God is one, but He's free. And He died for your sins. That God died on the cross for your sins, after being overpowered by His enemies. Both of them are saying, I have the true way, I have the right way. And both of them are saying, if you follow this way, you will go to paradise. If you follow the other way, you will end up in hell. And when you ask the other person, he's saying the same thing. So you need to decide which is right. You see, me, yeah. I don't believe yeah. eh, whether a Christianity or Islam, yeah. I don't believe that after death, yeah. eh, yeah. There is going to be judgment. You don't believe? I don't believe it. How do you know? Yes, because I believe on reincarnation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I believe on reincarnation. When you die, uh -huh. you will come back to this earth again. Okay. I, as you know, I'm a Muslim. The reason why I believe what I believe, the reason why I believe there's going to be a day of judgment, and there's going to be paradise, and there's going to be a hellfire, and there's only this life. The reason why I believe this is because of revelation. I believe that the Creator, Allah, sent down the Quran, and I believe He sent a messenger. That's my, this is my claim, this is my belief, and this is my evidence. When you say you believe in reincarnation, what is your evidence? Yeah, the reincarnation evidence is one. I have, I have a, a daughter yeah. that reincarnated my mother. How do you know? Yes, because what was in the... He was not born when my mother died. Uh -huh. The way my mother is, yeah. the shape, her hair, that is today, that is what is on the girl hair. So how come about that? How come about that? Yeah, my mother... But that's, that's very yeah, common. Okay, that's yeah. very common. It's, it's not, it, how does it, has it come up? My mother... Uh -huh. eh? You know, you know what it is? My mother gave birth to me. Yeah. Eh? You but that, I, but, that does, but that doesn't necessitate no, listen, reincarnation. Let, let me tell you, this, okay, it sir. is reincarnation. Uh -huh. does, she doesn't have hair here. Yeah. But you have hair here. Uh -huh. My own mother. She yeah. doesn't have hair at the back. Yeah. The, the back is as smooth as this. Uh -huh. I got the first daughter. Uh -huh. Second daughter. Uh, um, second boy. Third boy. Yeah. Eh? Then the fourth girl. From another woman, eh? Yeah. Take the same 
hair of my mother. Okay. And that was the woman my mother instructed me to get married to. Uh, can I I give you but I, I think there's a problem there's there's a there's a, problem, there's a problem there's a problem with your argument. Yeah. Do you believe that the soul is reincarnated? Yeah. Or do you believe the physical body is reincarnated? The soul reincarnated as okay. a human body. So when you're talking about the the hair, the appearance, yeah. for us, we know this is because you have come from the same line. You come from the same bloodline, the same family line. Generally, people, they, they take the characteristics of their parents. Yeah. So because you have a daughter who yeah. looks like your mother, yeah. This doesn't necessitate reincarnation. So what caused that? Let, let me finish, let me finish. But the thing is, when you say the soul is reincarnated, the soul is not the, is not the same as the physical body. That's, that's the thing. People who believe in reincarnation, they believe that the, the physical body will die, the person will be buried in the ground, and then the soul will come back and be put in another, a different physical body. The, so the thing is, the appearance is, for example, as a Nigerian man or as an English man, our children, they look like us. They have the similar, maybe they're different, but they have similar features. Like for example, if you go in a room, it's possible that someone will say, they will look in the room and they'll say, oh, this one is definitely your son. This one is definitely your daughter because you look like them. But this doesn't mean reincarnation. Well, it's okay, there to my conclusion. Yeah. My conclusion is. Yeah. This, yeah. this uh, view yeah. that Christian yeah. and Muslim have, yeah. it has been on ground for the past 2,000 years. So it has been what, sorry? It has been on ground. On and ground. Your belief, yeah. uh -huh. Christianity belief, uh -huh. has been existing for over 2,000 years. Yes. It is, to me, it's, it is something that is created uh -huh in the mindset of people uh -huh. and it's going to take us another 2,000 years yeah. to be able to escape from uh -huh. this predicament we find ourselves. I, I was Talking of uh, religion and uh, all these things, yeah. the religion is created by men. It is no. not created by God. Okay, but you believe in a God? I believe in God. Okay. Religion was because created by men. The problem is, you know, words. Religion, it just means to believe in a supernatural being or multiple supernatural beings and live a life the way that being wants you to live. That's what religion means. So do you believe that this world we are now yeah. is going to destroy one day? Yes. It's not possible. Why is it not possible? You, no, 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 you. me and you, we die. But you said yeah. it in the point of a Christian or a Muslim. As, as a Muslim, as a Muslim. As a yeah. Muslim, this yeah. world so is going to be destroyed. If that the world will be destroyed by, what, by fire or, what, or what, how will it be never. destroyed? Water. Let's 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 start let's start simply. <laughs> simply, we believe in one God who's created us. Do we agree on this point? Do you yeah, believe yeah, do you believe in, in one God? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We believe He's placed us in this world for a short time to be tested. And basically, we believe that messengers were sent for three reasons. Okay, three reasons messengers were sent, like Noah. Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and the last messenger, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them, they were sent with three basic messages. One, to know who is God. The human being, it has a desire to recognize and worship God. This is in, in all of us. And also, you know, the intelligence we have when we look at your eyes, your ears, the way we're breathing, the way we're communicating, the sky above us, the rain, everything. A person can recognize God. But who is God? His names, his attributes. This can only come by revelation. That's the first thing. Second is, what does God want from us? This can only come by revelation, by prophets informing us. And third, the point you're coming to, what happens after we die? Because no one has died and come back and informed us, this is something which God, Allah has chosen the best of mankind, the messengers, to convey the message to the people that after you die, you're going to be raised from your grave, you're going to stand in front of him, and you're going to be judged. And you're going to be judged on obeying his commandments and accepting his messengers who came. That's, that's the message of Islam. Fine, fine. The yeah. message is clear. But it's me, clear, yes. my belief uh -huh. is, yeah. is this world yeah. have come to stay. Uh -huh. We 
but what's your died. but what's your evidence? You you can't just say that your grandma's hair and your no, daughter's no, hair is the same. No, my, you need some my, you need some evidence. Evidence. Have you got evidence. revelation? Has a messenger ta taught there you is, this? There is no human that God has given revelation to. How how no, do you know? Just tricks. Uh, how, how, Both the pastors, the, uh, the mom, they are telling us fake uh, things. How but how do you know because these tricks? They don't uh, know it. They okay. never see God. They okay. never hear from God. Okay. God never speaks to no man. Okay. It so, is a, it is it is personal psychology that tells you and uh, me that God spoke to me. How okay. God spoke to you? If, if God speaks, your ear will block. If 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 a person, a human being, mm. like for example, we understand. We are limited in our knowledge. Sometimes I forget, sometimes I make a mistake. But human beings, can they tell you what's going to happen tomorrow? Others are, that's what I'm telling yeah. you. Others are, they call it, in, in a theological Prophecy, world, yeah. a theological yeah. world, they call it necromatic spirit. Okay. Others are spirits that talk to people. Uh -huh. You understand me? They uh -huh. don't know what God is saying. They don't know the mind of God. Uh -huh. All these things people are saying, it is a phrase. It doesn't exist. Uh -huh. Okay. God bring you to this world. Yeah. You multiply this world. After you, your your generation, you go just like this. You are going, 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 going. Or people that created uh -huh. London, yeah. your Stratford, yeah. this Stratford, if they come today to see people like this, yeah. they will faint. Because for their years, for their lifetime, they never see people like this. Uh -huh. They never know that Stratford is going to be so busy like this. Uh -huh. They have gone 2,000 years ago. But you still believe in the one God? I believe in there okay. is someone. Yeah. I believe that there is someone yeah. that controls the sun, uh -huh. that controls the moon, okay. that controls this uh, uh, air we breathe. Yes. I believe there is uh -huh. someone. Okay. That owns it. Okay. Entity. So yeah. that so that that entity, yeah, yeah, which is commonly called God in the English language. I don't believe that. That, that power. Do you think? It, do you think it? Do you think it? Do you think they created? Do you think they made us for a reason or no reason? The reason is we come to. This no, no, no. Just, just simple yeah, reason, re re reason. Reason. He said to okay. worship him. To worship him. And but how do you know him. that? To worship God, yeah. somebody that created your father that born you, you're supposed to respect so because him. Because you you seem to be you seem to be saying different things because you're, different. you're saying you don't accept the messengers, but then when I'm asking you why he created I you, said, there is, yeah. my my word is all messengers they are talking about are praise. It doesn't happen. Uh -huh. It did not happen. They created it on their own. They so, create it on their own. So, so the, pro God. the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, yes. who came yeah. around 1,400 years ago, yeah. and he said that he received revelation, yeah. the Quran. Yeah. Okay, and then the Quran says, if I give you a verse, the Quran says in chapter 54, yeah. The Quran says, we have made the Quran easy to memorize yeah. so is there anyone who will memorize it okay this is a statement from 1400 years ago and then we see that this book the quran it has been memorized from that time to this time generation after generation after generation by hundreds of thousands of people to, to the to the last word to the last letter it's been memorized by the heart and this is something as a nigerian person you know let me let me finish okay at the same time, we have multiple religions and we have multiple ways of life. And none of them have brought someone who memorized the whole book. For me, this is very clear that the, the book, the Quran, which the Prophet Muhammad came with, made a claim. And now 1,400 years later, in Stratford, 2023, us three can witness this claim. I want to ask as an evidence. Question. I want to ask one yeah. question before. No, no. W w explain this. H how can the book be memorized by hundreds of thousands of people, as it said it would be, and no other book is memorized like that? Is this not a sign that what the book said was true? A book that was memorized was done by you. Where you, you memorize it, not me. Ah. Uh, but me. I want to ask you one. But question. the book is easy to memorize. Yeah. I want yeah. to ask you one question. Yeah. Before. Yeah. Before the religion. Yes. You believe on now. Yes. Eh? Yeah. Your four forefather before uh -huh. this religion. Yeah. Are you telling me they don't know God? Okay. Me, no, no, no. Answer that I, question. I'm gonna answer it. Yeah, they me, don't know God. I became Muslim when I was nineteen. As you can see I'm I'm I'm, I'm English. Yes. So I was brought up 
Church of England. And then when I became around 19, I accepted Islam. So my, my forefathers well, were, were not Muslim. Answer this question first. Before Islam <coughs> came. Yeah. Before Islam came. Oh, before it's not, not me personally, no, Islam. Before Islam came. Okay. The people that believe in Islam. Yeah. Now. Yeah. You did, are they going to tell me that before Islam came, they don't know God? Okay, let me answer. Let me answer. See, the word Islam. Islam means submission. It's an Arabic word, as you know, and it means submission to God. So Islam teaches, the Quran teaches that Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last messenger. He came with Islam, but all of the messengers before him, Jesus, Moses, David, Suleiman, Abraham, Noah, Adam, they all came with Islam. None of them came with Judaism. Judaism is not a religious name, it's a tribal name. Okay. Christianity, so, Jesus never said to be so, Christian. So, 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 so my point is, all of, all, all of those messengers were Muslim and they taught Islam. And they all knew who Allah was, they all knew that God is one. Yeah, that's that's my saying. answer. Okay, yeah. fine. So which means, which means, after this people, when Prophet Muhammad came, yes, Allah, Allah. Means it is their regime. It is their regime yeah. that separate Islam and yeah. Christianity. Yeah. You see? So they are the two people that are created this religion. Jesus Christ. No. No. <coughs> Jesus Christ and Muhammad. Peace be upon him. They are the ones that created this conflict. No. The, Jesus. Because when Muhammad uh, was, yeah. uh, when because uh, these two religions are always fighting against yeah. each other, the Christians, the Muslims, the Muslims uh, even politics. Politics now is not involved in the, the, the religion. religion. Do you do, do people fight over money? They've done money. The, the, yeah, the people do fight over money. Okay. Religion. Okay. Religion why don't you first. give me? Why don't you give me all your money then? Religion comes Why do you still use that? Yeah. Uh, religion because religion, if, if you are a Christian and you are a Christian, uh, is that we have uh, some form of understanding. Uh, but when you are a Muslim and yeah. I'm a Christian, uh, yeah. we we for us to coordinate yeah. will be that no easy. But we easily coordinate when uh, we are of the same faith. See see the thing is I, I, to be honest, with all due respect, I don't think that's a good um, I don't think that's a good criticism of religion because they, they you you know, look, 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 we, look, we're living in a time now, look, look, Muslim let me finish, not okay, not good. even if you put Islam and Christianity to the side, you put them to the side, we've just, we have the Ukrainian and Russian war, nothing to do with Islam and Christianity, we have America invaded Afghanistan and Iraq, nothing to do with Christianity, we had World War One. we had World War Two. nothing to do with Islam and Christianity, yeah, it has to do with race, uh, should I, did, yeah. should I shock you? Shock me. The highest war yeah. we are fighting now yeah. is a religious war. Because it's which, a cold which is, war. It's a cold it's war. It's a cold war. Okay. Unless we no are hiding from uh, the truth. Uh, no weapons. But it's a cold, it's a cold okay. war we are okay. fighting. Okay. We are hiding from the truth. Okay. But, but I have to tell you, yeah. there is always going to be a constant battle between truth and falsehood. And sometimes that battle between truth and falsehood is verbal is provide your evidence, discuss it, and people can still live together. And sometimes that battle between truth and falsehood, it, it can turn to swords. But the reality is, I am responsible to seek the truth and to worship my Lord, how the messengers came with. But another thing you said about Jesus didn't invent the, the religion which he came with. He's a messenger, he conveyed it. Moses didn't invent what he came with. He was chosen by God as a messenger and he conveyed the message, the message given to him. The same with the Prophet Muhammad, a peace be upon all of them. He didn't invent his way. He was given revelation from the angel Gabriel and what he was commanded, he followed and what he was commanded, he conveyed. So what, what do you have to say about Judaism? Buddhism? Yeah, Buddhism. Right. Is it Buddhism? Yeah. What do I have to say about it? Yeah. False. Nothing. It's false. False, yeah. Do, do you know do you know where do you know where do you know that? Let me take you Sorry, sorry, back. sir. Let me let me just the Quran clearly says uh, in chapter three. It says, In the Dina in the Allah Islam. That the way of life with God, with Allah, is Islam. 
It says in chapter 3 also, I believe verse, verse 85 If anybody desires or chooses a way of life, a religion other than Islam, submission to the one true God, it will never be accepted from them. And that person in the next life will be amongst the losers. So the thing is, I'm making a claim, but I have evidence, I have a revelation, I have the Quran which has been preserved from the time of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him until today. Any, anyone who makes a claim, if a Buddhist makes a claim or a Christian makes a claim, then they have to bring their evidence. But I may, I've made my claim and I brought my evidence. Yeah, you have the evidence you present. It's the Quran. Eh? It's the Quran. Yes. It is not, in, you, the evidence you present as the uh, Quran cannot cannot eh, yes, yes. influence my belief of 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 human uh, human uh, uh, propagation of uh, uh, um, religion uh, all right no it no cannot because my my own mindset uh, yeah eh, i begin to come out from that shackles of bondage you eh? know when you say I influence come out from that yeah. bondage of religion belief but when you i don't believe on religion you do you are my you brother do. you do i take you, you i do. take you as 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 you believe in god you believe in god this one believe in no, god no. but when you bring in religion i begin to stay away from but, you because but, but, i don't believe in religion but you know but when you when you said you believe in god and you believe you have to follow his commandments this is technical according to the language definition this is a religion you're not saying you're Muslim or Christian, no. but you still have it. Believing in God doesn't mean that you God have to do God don't have religion. religion. I, but he said you have to obey God's commandments. That's a religion. I obey God's commandments. Yeah. God, God, God to religion. religion. Yeah. Because God on his own being a supreme entity. Yeah. Then when you bring religion, religion now becomes when you involve me, you, humanity. Religion is when you now involve humanity. Humanity. Uh, no, 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 no. Can I just make... Because I, I did mention, do you believe in God? And you said yes. And then I asked you, do you think God has created you for a purpose? And you said yes. yes. So that purpose, as the gentleman said, to obey God's commands, to live the, the way God wants, that is called religion. If you want to take away the religion, it's fine. If you want to take away the word religion, it's fine. But when you believe in God, when you believe you're accountable before God, and when you believe God has asked you to do certain things, this is this is good. For, this is good. This is bad. This is compulsory. This is forbidden. The te the technical word in the language is religion. But if you don't want to use that word, it's it's still the same thing. But if I if I tell you sorry, now, sorry, I but, can read Fatia. If I tell you now I can read Fatia, you won't believe me. I don't mind. This you can read Fatia. So if I tell you now I can read. It Fatia, doesn't it doesn't surprise you don't me. Believe me. No, so, it doesn't so surprise but, me. But the truth is. But if you can read Fatiha, that's a proof for us. I study. Because it shows that even as a non-Muslim, you can memorize yeah, it from the Quran. I memorize it, I study it. Which shows you what I said, that we have, that Allah says, We have made the Quran easy to remember. Yeah, so is that I, anyone can remember? I, so the thing Fatiha, is... I know it, I study it. Uh -huh. Alright? I discover yeah. within me, from my own personal uh, um, uh, uh, research. Yeah. I discovered that. Your conjecture, it's conjecture. It's not re it's research, but it, you don't have any firm basis to, to return back to. No, I didn't mean, yeah. I didn't mean I want to, it's something that would call for it. I would yeah. have been able to bring in a lot of, a lot of things for you to know about. But then, yeah. but then, when I begin to do all this research, yeah. I discovered that the religion was created by human. Okay. Not God. Uh -huh. So, but then, this is, this how, is can I, how can I feast myself into the society that to love everybody? Okay. okay. I love everybody. But it, I don't believe on your religion. I don't okay. believe on what you believe on. But look, I believe on loving every human being okay. as long as God created I, us. Again, again, I'll go back to the point. Yeah. I made a claim. I made a claim that Islam is the only true religion, the only way accepted to God. That's my claim. Okay. 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 I, okay. Let, let me finish. Read your book. When I read your book, and I, I, get, find it I gave you, you know. I gave you my evidence of Quran. You go, let me ask you something. Do you yes, believe that God that created the heavens and the earth and created everything that you know would leave you without a purpose? He won't tell you how to worship Him. No purpose, no, 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 it didn't create yes. you. Yes. For yes. example, you got a lot of religions. What do you do? 
Yeah. What they do, what they do, they use, they use their own imagination. Yes. And you know, you're from Nigeria. Yeah. Why people do black magic. Yes. They cut up babies. Yes. They was, did God ordain this or did they use their own imagination? Imagination, their personal imagination. Right. That's, what they are That's why God he sent his prophets, he sent his books, he sent his messengers to tell us how to worship him. It wasn't, you know, what sort of God? would create a man and then leave him alone to his own will for him to use his own imagination on how to do things god did not god did not leave yeah. him alone from where my understanding started mm. yeah. god created men yeah he created women all right yeah, yeah. god give us a commandment yeah. and the commandment god give it to give to us is accepted by muslim it's yes. accepted by christian yes. all right it's, yeah. it's accepted by judaism and yeah. every other even our own natural law yeah. From our own forefather, yes. who don't believe in Christianity, who don't believe in Muslim religion and all those things, who are traditionalists. Yeah. That's a commandment that is in the Bible and the commandment that is in the Quran. Yeah, yeah. Our father believe in it. Yeah. Which means God has been existing before religion came. Of course. And my father believed in God before religion came. But religion came yeah. to differentiate him, to tell him that the way of his worship is yeah. is, is local. That he right. should go to church, then he should go to mosque. For what? Because I must even my father to go to mosque and leave his even in in of it. There's a lot of division. Yeah, we know this. We know yeah. this. Why? Why must you tell my father to leave his idol worshiping and go to church but, or go to mosque? For what? Because, because my father yeah. always communicates you know that the, thing with this to idol. God. You know this idol. And go answer right. him before religion came in, before Muslim came in, before Christian okay. came this, in. This idol, this yeah. idol, mm. which you know, for example, we cut down a tree. Some of the wood we use for firewood, some yeah. of the wood we use for building, and then some of the wood we use to make a god. And then the person, they bow down their head to this god. Yeah. This idol, yeah. it cannot hear them. Yeah. It cannot see them. Yeah. It cannot help them. Yeah. It cannot harm them. Yeah. This is idol worship. This is false worship. You say yours, yes. too, your two yeah. is idol. Let me uh, tell you. Uh, the Bible and the Quran too are idle because they are paper cut from the tree, manufactured like this, and was written with ink. Uh, all right, because they can read it. Yeah. My father, but, owned, sir, listen, we don't, we don't my, worship my the father, paper. My, no, uh, we worship because my father, we worship God, my father the created the, the heavens and, and the earth. This thing, and make this thing is God. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. He see through that God. Yeah. He read through that God. Yeah. And tell his children, don't go out today. Okay. No, we the rain is going to fall. We worship God. Not, my father not, will, not tell me, he will tell us, don't yeah. go out today, the rain is going to fall. Uh, I have seen it. Okay. I have seen it. Uh, rain is going to fall. Everything. If you also read your Quran uh, yeah. and tell us this is what God wants. Yeah. Okay. Christian, read Bible. Okay. And tell, where do you produce this paper? Can, uh, can I say something? This, where do you produce uh, paper? Okay. Uh, okay. Listen, all the technology <laughs> today, all the inventions, all the developments by mankind, right? A car, for example. When they make a car, do they give you a manual? A yeah, they give a manual. Right. Right. There's a purpose for that manual. That purpose of that manual is that if a car is a diesel, you don't throw petrol inside. Right? That's you don't throw sand thing. inside. You talk right. about something spiritual. Yes. And right. Physical. So the books, the books that were given is, 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 is guidance. God didn't create us and left us without a purpose. He gave us the books, he sent the prophets. He sent the messengers to tell us to worship God alone. And not only that, when you analyze something, for example, if somebody come and tell you today, you know what, can you give me 5,000 pounds now? And I'll see you, I'll come back later with it and I'll give you extra money with it. Would you give him that 5,000 pounds? No, with that, come out with, that, with that signature. Right. So when you, we know what is true by analogy, for example, the books, the good book said, look after your parents. Yeah. Love your family. Look after your children. All the good things. Love the neighbors yourself. Yeah. Right. Care for your environment. Yeah. We know all of these things to be true. So we know from this by this analogy that what God is telling us is true. We can know we know it in our hearts because the truth is only found in yes. our hearts. If I come with you with something now, it's the truth, and you will know immediately from your heart it's the truth. It's I'm truth. talking about. Yes. So this is why the books were sent to differentiate between falsehood and what is right and what is wrong. I was going to talk to you some other time. Yeah, we are, we are, we are, we are, yeah, but it's, it's nice to you. Yeah, 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 we always hear. Yeah, we'll come, come again some other time. time eh? All right then. Have a nice day. Thank you.